Alright, hello everyone! Welcome to today's video of Life is Strange True Color. This is we're going to be playing for episode 1 today. This is going to be a YouTube project, of course, and we're going to be uploading it to YouTube. And I uh, hope you guys look forward to uh, what we're going to be going through when we play this game. And uh, we are also live streaming this right now on Twitch, so link's in the description if you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitch.tv. And, uh, Considering this game has pretty much already have all the episodes attached to it, I believe, then uh, we might actually do uh, we might actually do the next session soon. Um, not too soon. I'm gonna make sure I upload the video before I stream it again. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be rapid fire edit editing when that comes. So anyways, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and also today's stream. And let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Now, before the stream, I did, of course, set some settings up. So, um, we won't have to worry too much. Deck 9, Unreal Engine. Powered by WYs and Speedtree. And, uh, I'd like to give you guys a warning that, uh, of course, like, I have set up some stuff that are most likely live stream friendly, so this will give you guys a heads up display to, um, I'll, I'll explain it when we get to it, but I'm going to go to the settings, I'm going to show you guys a few things. Let's go into the live stream, because I guess Deck9 knows that uh, we'll be live streaming this. You'll be able to turn this on, but you need, uh, you can of create a poll, but um, I don't think I can be able to do that. I would have to apply to uh, a Square Enix, which I can't do right now. But that's okay, because just tell me in chat and I'll just go by that. I also muted uh, licensed music, just so that way DMCA doesn't get me. And uh, in video... Um, not much. What's, hold on, what's in advanced videos? Oh, those are like the advanced settings. Uh, not right now. I'm gonna try medium, but if it gets too, uh, painful to play, or, uh, laggy on your end, then I'll have to turn it down, back to low, but for now, we're gonna set it to medium. We'll see how it goes. Audio, nothing here. Accessibility. This is what, uh, this is what, uh, has changed the most. Now, there is longer choice timers. I have enabled it so that way I can be able to take the time to think, of course. Um, and I guess it also helps for chat as well. Um, there's also a skip gameplay prompt. Basically, if you want to skip a annoying quest that you that is mandatory, you can enable it. But then it also ruins the game, doesn't it? So I I did not do that. Then, there's also brightness warning and volume warning, so this pretty much helps with stream delay or something like that. But if this setting's enabled, basically it will, um, it will let us know, a prompt will let us know that a intense visual, like, seizure warning might come up. So they're gonna warn us ahead so that way we can prepare ourselves to cover our eyes, as well as, like, a scream or volume warning, so, like, when that prompt comes up, at least it'll we'll let us know that we can turn our volume down, uh, turn your volume down so you don't get ear rates. And like, that's just great. As for gameplay, um, depending, um, there's also major choice prompt. Um, if this setting is enabled, a prompt will appear when you make a dialogue choice that will affect your direction of the story and it will allow you to confirm or reconsider your choice. Basically, Life is Strange 1's rewind mechanic. This was not in the previous, like, games that were that came out after Life is Strange, and we're finally getting this, I believe. Or maybe it is in the previous games, and it isn't until now that I found it. I have no idea. That being said, I think we got everything else set up. Alright, but let's go and start a new game. And I think they're gonna... No, they're not gonna give us questions on what we did. Alright, Life is Strange True Colors is a story-based game that features players' choices. Your action decisions will affect consequences. And here's our main character. Oh, Alex. 
The day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. Mm -hmm. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. All right. Let the strange true colors. So chapter one, side A. This first stream will be most likely be focused on chapter one. We're not gonna do chapter two. We'll do chapter two in a feature stream. So uh, yeah, side A is our first episode. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Okay, so now we are main control of our main character, who is uh, Alex. We just got dropped off into this city, this town. If possible, I'd like to try to find some, like, dates. Well, uh, not dates as in, like, hang out on a date. I mean, like... What, where did this game take place? Is it after, like, the Strange 2? Is it, like, after Before the Storm? After the events of regular Life is Strange? Because, after all, one of the characters from Before the Storm is in this. I'm not gonna spoil it yet. Got some deer. I'm um, guessing this is one of those cinematic stuff, and so I'm assuming like I have to push space at at some point just to leave. I believe. Here, I'll wait a little bit longer before I, uh... I think it's cinematic, that's what it is. Hey, Gabe. Holy shit. That's really him. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Ah, uh, a hug. I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> Let's be buddy oh, buds. Touching my ribs still part of the protocol. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. Oh, what? She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. 
Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Uh, I'm a little nervous. Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. You should be. This reunion's being filmed. What? <laughs> he's joking. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, ah. It is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> she seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, mm. shit. Welcome to Haven. Seems like a country town to me. It does look like something, doesn't it? Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> Pretty nice stuff, don't you think? Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists oh. that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying. More like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Let's be honest. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already <laughs> wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Uh, a flower for a little bit of wake up. Uh, what did you do? Let's start off with that. What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> did you piss on the toilet? God darn you. And I wish chat was here, and it would give me a, a good idea on what special advice I should do here. Let's do Lily of the Valley. Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry... That I am. And that I will. Yeah, if, if there's somebody in chat, then I'll ask them what they would do. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often... Well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. I'm guessing here now we can walk around before we leave. Okay. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. 
have a fairy on a statue. I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. Me too. Aw, I wonder who they are. Yes. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Nice to know. Does anyone actually sit in the decorated store chair? I mean, I sit on chairs a lot during big lots. How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. Hmm. Very nice looking stuff. I don't think I'll read any of those, though. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. I'm not going to leave yet. I'm going to look around. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. This gnome has been places. Yeah, you know, gnome looks pretty creepy. Let's put sunglasses on it. My sunglasses? Or what I have already packed? Now, I, now he doesn't look creepy anymore. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh God! Please stop. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. The tiny house movement is really taking off. This is where the bathroom is, right? Am I allowed to go back here? If you hold right when an aura displays, you can see emotions attached to the character. It's a purp it's a pink aura. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Wait, so is, like, Alex born with this ability? He doesn't question whether or not he had it? Maybe there'll be a flashback scene that explains why she has it. This is a bathroom, right? If yes... No, this is an employees-only area? What's with a store that doesn't have a bathroom? Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Alright, I think we've done everything here. Let's go ahead and leave. Uh... Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. So I wonder if you can use this to your advantage. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? About three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Spring wealth. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I... These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. Okay, here we go. Here's our date. Alright, let's analyze this. This takes place in around April 28th, 2019. So, Marty, um, after you upload this, go through the previous videos, figure out where this is, figure out uh, where this is located, and uh, just plan it. Okay. But I'm not sure if this is today. It might be today. Hey, we found our date, so... Wow. We might be in business. Wow. Unless we found a later date. What the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. 
Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. Step one, patch oh, I already did that. Charlotte. Only once. Step two, Alex. Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Okay. The presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. So are we supposed to go into this building? Is this why we're waiting here? Or we're we supposed to be walking? Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. But I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. This is Charlotte's place, or where she works at. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Vanishing my kind of power? I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. I like these conversations, man. If you like comics, I can... show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. Hopefully it's based on her. I'm guessing he grows up to be a graphics designer. If you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. <laughs> Pro twenty three Marxio. Thank you so much for the follow. I just like to explore sometimes. Also, I no big deal. forgot to turn the sound effects off. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. Uh, it's cool. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. Alright, after I get out of this conversation, and I will uh, go ahead and turn sound effects off on my uh, wavelength. Takes longer than a minute, he says. Oh yeah, you're that, uh, I believe you're that person I was talking through in direct messages on Discord, I believe. How you doing? Alright, let me go ahead and turn the sound effects off because, um, this is going to be a later uploaded, uh, video, um, once everything is all set up. Because right now, I am trying to get everything all, uh, worked out here. Yeah, alerts and uh, chat b chat box and everything is turned off for this stream. Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. Oh, very nice. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. Oh good, how much money do you have? Which probably what reminds me, I don't think I've ever checked the menu yet. Ah, uh, here's our, uh... Here's one of the characters from a previous game. I've returned the storm. Before the storm, I meant. Oh, 
Uh, uh, unicorn sandwich or zombie parade? Honestly, I like the unicorn. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So I guess they're playing music for at the town, I believe. And of course they were taking viewer requests. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open wait are you alex that's oh. me yeah i'm alex wow gabe's been talking about you coming since forever i'm ryan hi ryan nice to meet you so all the way from portland huh what do you think of haven uh, I think I'm still deciding. Considering I've been here for like a minute, I'd <laughs> say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well could say that an outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds hmm. wow that's different or nerdy I don't think I want to say nerdy that's just why not the nerdiest thing I've ever seen and I owned two schoolhouse rock albums I'd lie and say it was for my work, but no, it's totally for fun. <laughs> so you're a Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all like Chuck Norris. Well, Palmer, the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Oh. Yeah, I got messages. Alright, so, um... Anyway, so this is where... Okay, so here's our here's our current date. So now we know it's officially what, what day it is or what time it is. And we can use this to put this somewhere in the timeline playlist. Alright. So, okay. Anyways, um... Let's start here. Do I have to start from the very top? Hold on. Let's just start with most recent... Okay, so today is the uh, 28th, so let's scroll back. If it's, if it's past 28th, then I won't read that. Alright, 27th, so we'll start here. Hey I'm, hey, I'm about an hour away. Can't wait, I'm ready for ya. Let's just pulled in. Oh! World okayest boyfriend. Ah, you are right. Re lilies, feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my block. 
check it out when uh, you have a second. Cool, thanks. All right. Uh, okay, now let's blend for decorations. Speaking of which, let's look at our uh, menu really quickly. We have my block. I'm guessing this is like one of those like Facebook, Twitter type of things. Uh, my block. Actually, it's probably Facebook or something. I don't know. You can look at some like public chat rooms or something like that. Pretty interesting stuff. Then we got my journal. Uh, All right, this is talking about like on the whole list. Interesting. There's a lot of music in here. Anything else? And then we have a list of, uh, other messages. We got Chelsea. We got Dr. Lynn. Okay, I think we're done here. But basically, uh, hold shift to move faster. So we can run now, basically. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. Can I look at your aura? No. Apparently, I can't sense your aura. He seems cool. For a tree cop. Maybe if I speak to him first. I could have sworn she set it down over here. Don't get me wrong. Steph's great, but... She can be kind of a mess. Gabe's record is okay. in here, but which one is it? I'm assuming this is off limits. Nah, I can definitely do this. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Okay. Drinking bird. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. I love science. Yes, there really is no rest for the weary. Yeah, drum kit. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? <laughs> Steph's touch and die. I don't know if I want to touch it right now because I feel like Steph would not like it if I do that. It's been so long since I've played. What do you think, chat? Should I touch it? I'll let you decide. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. We have an ice cream. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Oh, look. Jaws. Aw, uh, Kitty! Wait... Is that the hold list? Oh, the cat is so adorable. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Oh, I'm coming. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. How you doing, Pro 20? So, what's the prediction? I'll let you decide on, like, fur napkins for this game. If it's okay with you. Have I checked Discord? Not yet. I'm just trying to play the game. Alright, Banjo Dubstep or Acapella Screamo. How about the banjo? I love me some banjo. I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an awesome? If I look at this where it requires me to close my game temporarily. Isn't that music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy.
Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. <laughs> you mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. I'm guessing I'm forced to actually uh, look around. There's a Rubik's Maybe cube in there. Junk box. See a Rubik's cube. Oh. And we have a winner. Oh, second chance. Not bad. I guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Alright, so I want you to uh, decide whether or not I should do this or not. It says here that steps touch and die. If I touch this, will it cause a dramatic turn of events? Should I touch it? Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it? I'll let you it decide more? on that one. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and take care of the cat. There's the Burlington board. How very small town. Hey there, little kitten. Golly, you're a little toy. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? He's so cute. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. See, Gabe. His item is a tiny blue bot. F uh, narrow pampers. Interesting. Should have known. I can Oops. see why Gabe fits in so well here. Seems like Gabe is already set. Free drink tonight at the Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. What the hell is wrong with your kid? There most certainly are not. It's too late. It's already been posted on the internet. Uh, getting lit for free? Just try it. Can't confirm Alex is great. I uh, can't confirm how she turned out on. I uh, turned out so well, and you can turn out so you. It's nature, a Neptune thing. So I don't know who this Jed Lucian is, but he's tr probably. Um, if this is based on everyone's friends list, or if it's a public post. I don't know why you're in business with this guy. But maybe he is in business, who knows. Maybe maybe everyone on the friends list will communicate here. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You got to tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Mm. Any ammunition you can give me? Um, dork or badass? Let's do badass. Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. I'm gonna temporarily check this for really quickly, so I won't be able to see chat for a little right. bit. You're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? What? Why is Steph angry? No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> Negative energy. It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? 
You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. See, so you're having... You're having, uh... Are live viewers. you okay? And we can work on getting more organic followers and live viewers. You know, that's, that's totally fine, man. That is totally fine. Alright, now I gotta reconnect the chat. Uh, never better. I'm great, thanks. Just... Did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Hey! Thanks, what with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Talking about birds. Actually, checking out the place. Um, Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Oh, anyway. oh well, let me look at this real quickly. Typhoon mining. Is this, like, for recent stuff? Oh, Steph. Hey, yeah, I looked at Steph. Sorry I had to run out like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the Lantern tonight. You too. Okay. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Again, like this, this Alex character has the ability to sense um, emotions. They can tell uh, what they're thinking, and uh, they can tell whether or not they feel guilty, or if they feel angry, or if they feel sad, or if they're lying. I should check in. Do you mind? No. Yeah. Of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kinda wanna hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. <laughs> dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> good for you. We trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Shar. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? So now we have a crucial decision making. We can tell Gabe or keep Ethan's secret. This is one of those major decision makings. So, um... But I'm gonna keep Ethan secret. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, there's like a confirmed choice right here. So basically, if you want me, here, let me know that. Is this your final answer? 
Yeah, it's my final answer. You good? Yeah, fine. Just thinking about you as the Hobbs to Ethan's Calvin. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. Except you're, you know, dating his mom. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't read my Calvin and Hobbes fan fiction. What? Wow. What? What do you say we get you settled in? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how the major choice thing works. Like. So, here, like I play safe. And overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Hmm. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want uh, to... Ah, there we go. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? <laughs> His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. Huh. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Indeed. Well, only bad stuff. Mostly lies. <laughs> he shit, you know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. Oh, really? You think so? Uh, same. I was excited to see him, too. Guess we're an almost wet-yourself kind of family. Ha! Hmm. I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. <laughs> it's charming. Indeed. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. There we are in the Black Lantern. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. Best you could. I mean, uh, best you could do? Sorry. Let me try that again. This is the best you could do? Much better. Thank you. Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Uh, what do you mean, mine? What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe. I... Thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. A jet will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Uh, 
So this is my home, basically. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? Uh, didn't expect the beard. I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Well, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Honey, uh, I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good, because I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, that's right, because I have like licensed music turned off on the live streaming settings, that means you can't hear any music. So I'll just edit in my own music. That's what I'll do. If there's times like this where music is playing in the plot, then I'll just add it. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to add some music during editing. Go get him. <laughs> Dancing to nothingness. Mainly because I turned license music off. Now clean the place. Done. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm like a target or control set up. <laughs> oh, what is going on now? Who's here? Just give me a sec. Yeah! The following gameplay contains bright lights. Would you like to adjust the brightness settings? Uh, for right now, let's continue. Um, uh, I'll adjust it next time I get this warning, but, um, seizure warning up ahead. Be careful. Oh, and loud audio. Uh, turn your, turn your audio settings down. Three. Okay. Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I didn't keep your back. Uh, yeah. no. No, 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 not here. Oh 
god. Press W. Like that. Anger. God. Chillax, dude. Too much anger up your head. Stop. Chillax. I didn't. It's okay. Oh god, she has blood in her hands. This is fucking psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Can you even control that? Like, maybe if I didn't push W? Well, I'll learn that for the future, of course. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. Being a little overprotective. I think I could control. Great. But basically, if too much negative energy goes to um, goes to Alec from somebody nearby, apparently it's just tapped into her, and then that negative energy just it somehow attaches into him. So you kind of want to try to control your emotions, because other than that, it's just going to lead to just bad stuff going on. I'm okay. I really want an origin story. Why? How did she get this weird aura? Where did she get this power? I'm okay. I'm okay. But yeah, for the future, I'm gonna see if I can try to control that. But like, they give me a button prompt. Can I choose not to do it? I think I could. I guess I might as well unpack. Hey Alex, this is Ryan. It was really nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking more later. Nice to meet you too. Sounds good. After I, after I literally punched somebody in the face, I felt like a monster. Oh, a sword. Is that a sword? You wish I used that instead of my fists, but uh, that would be too gruesome, don't you think? I didn't even get to finish the song. Oh, video games. Can we play it? Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Let's see. Dinosaur... Dino Racer 2. Uh, Cory Forest's Cup. So it's like a Mario Kart clone. Huh. You've really changed the art style since I read these. Son of Lead. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Indeed. I'm assuming at some point I could go upstairs. I've always wanted a bike like this. Oh my god, I can I can get emotions in But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. 
Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> Interesting, like, you can be able to, uh, hear what happened a, a few months ago or something like that on what caused it to happen. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Can I play this game? I can. Mine hard. We get to play a minigame here. Okay, use WSD keys, and then risk jump. How to play, you climb up, uh, you drop down, avoid the ghost, avoid the cart, there's power-ups, and you gotta collect all of the coins. Uh, you get extra points depending on how fast you complete the level, okay. Oh, I start from the top, okay. Okay, so I guess I can jump. So this is like Pac-Man, sort of, right? Yeah, it's kind of like Pac-Man. No, you're not gonna chase me. Oh, I'm cornered. I I'm screwed. I do have free lives. I guess that's something, right? Oh god, don't you dare. I get a light power up, which I'm guessing vanquishes ghosts if you touch it. So again, this is like Pac-Man uh, slash Mario Donkey Kong. Yeah, this is like Luigi's Mansion's light, okay. Now grab it. Okay, this could be fun. And now we have the minecarts gotta watch out for. Ah, dang it. I'm gonna wait, cause I don't trust this. Okay, go for that. Okay, so you can jump over that. Oh, come on! Alright, one life left. Gotta make a count. Just grab that. Oh, and I just fall down. Alright. Well, that was fun. You guys wanna try this game for yourself? Uh, get Life of Strange True Colors. I think he fits right in. A board game. Can I play that? Oh man. Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. Indeed. I don't think- did I look at the air pump? No, I did not. What's in the bag? Unpack the shoe shoe. Oh god. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. 
She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Unpack comic. Ethan's mm. really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. All right, let's let's read the comic. So, the tunnel to the monster stronghold of the demonstrators collapse. Dang it, wrong, wrong thing. I have to find a, a, another way in. And then he looks into it. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? Oh God, that ain't gonna look good. The trail seems to end here, unless... Hollow? And he pulls the door open. Aha, he must have crawled through here. The corpse of the clouds splint. It must be must have crushed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. And he goes up. Your flying days are over, Cloud Scepter. But you may shall be of use to me. He definitely climbs on and rides the skeleton ride. Or just runs it. That glow beyond the peak. That must be the stronghold's back gate. To be continued, by the way, because that's, that's the last page. Ethan's pretty creative. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I guess. I really wish those mitts had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Chelsea's probably your bestest friend. Riley's letter. Bri, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Seems like Mac really wanted to be uh, Gabe's Alex. best friend. Do I want to know? Special folder. Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Origin Department of Human Service. Child Welfare Office. Loretta Vance. Helping Hands Group Home. Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Mm. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Nope, a dude. Oh, made a voicemail follow up. Old number. Now some dude named Adam. Yeah, they, they just tried to find in contact with me if possible. Anything else on here? Not much here. You can find a lot of unique stuff here. Anything inside of this backpack? No, I can't look at it. Have I ever analyzed a bike? Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Not even then, it was not too important. Unpacked photo. This is Gabe. Crazy how much we've changed. Yeah, he he definitely look different all these years later. Huh. 
I'll have to look at that photo frame. No way. Oh, that was not the entire photo. This is Best just part. Dad didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Wow, and this is the full photo. Very interesting. Oh, we can get dress. I think... I think you can get some, like, DLC costumes, at least, or very sneak stuff. Alright, so let's see here. We have this look. We have the bear look. Colorado look. I think I'm fine with the current look for now. If I need to change, I will. Yeah, before I even unpack more, let's just see if there's that. Okay, we were right here. That's where we were. Anything else you should look at? I'm really happy for you, Gabe. I'm guessing this was like their honeymoon photo. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Gabe brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? He looks alive to me. His head's up. I don't think he's... Unless he's holding his head up. I heard that. That's just so sad. Here, there's more oh, photos. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. Magnets. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Indeed. Uh, just a lot of like scoping around, looking at things, plot. Details. Time to add my latest meltdown. Mac attacked my brother, and I lost control. So Mac was reading Riley's text, boyfriend of the year. Question is, was it a good choice to just go psycho on him? Thank God he's not Nathan Prescott. Alright, so here's my latest journal entry. Mac. Slash anger. It all started with a knock, and I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door like something was slipping under the frame. Something red, something raw. Then there's Mac. And that familiar feeling of dread that always come when I know I'm losing control. And no matter how hard I fight it, I, it, it just keeps coming until, until, until my blood is a running boil. Then, the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone. And it's going to happen, and no one can make me stop. Max's anger felt hot and dizzy, and also a little bit afraid, really. It was all about Riley. Red, rage, relief, if that's the right word. The thought of her with someone else, the thought of her with anyone else, it was under his skin burning. The feeling like hot cords grinding around behind your ribs. It's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over, when your ears stop ringing, and your heart slows down from hummingbird to lazy jackhammer. It's such a relief. Too bad it caused Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? Be friends. 
that bind us up. They bum and weave. Inside our ribs, they hurt until you leave. Then there's memories. This looks like a new one. Oh, these are basically, um, these are basically, uh, some, like, hidden details that you add up. Then Riley's letter. Oh, wait, this is what I just read. It's not one of those, uh... Okay. Interesting. I really- I hope I can somehow control it. Like, maybe if I just don't push- just later. Maybe if I just don't push the button, I won't- I, I'll be able to control it. Next time I get that, I'll try- I'll, I'll try not to do it. No fucking way. Alex, here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred. Let me get my own guitar. Let me detach this Wiimote. I don't, I don't want it on here. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. As you say that in your thoughts, something happened to mess up everything. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Can I go up here? No, I cannot.
crying. Just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> It hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Hi, Charlotte. Right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. <laughs> I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Uh, it's rising. Let's keep it following. Let's keep positive. Rising. For sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Mac's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. He's a great kid. I know literally nothing about kids. But he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. <laughs> Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. <sighs> I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So we're gonna get drinking tonight? Can we play these other arcades? There's two more over there. I bet one of them already, some of them we already played. So I'm short staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh. I go with Gabe Starry. Maybe not as long as that, but yeah. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got okay. it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. All right, time to be a waitress. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Mm -hmm. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third Ducky <sighs> McAllister, friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that, I that you're you related to Kevin. You were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Uh, kind of bizarre. I've been here one day. And I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. 
Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. <laughs> and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Damn, boys. Always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Oh, God, I forgot. I forgot. Crap. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh. And? I remember this. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. I probably screwed over one order, but I don't remember. I don't see Whatever. It. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with him. He might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Well, I guess we'll just go find it. I'll look for anything that looks like an alcohol bottle. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. All that, it looks like cleaner, so there's absolutely no here. I really hope I don't need to go way up there. Anything that looks like an alcohol bottle. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. I'll find it. We gotta be quick, too. And I look in the fridge. Is any of this up here good? Oh, maybe over here. The liquor stuff. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Under the couch? Why is that? What about that? <laughs> Found it. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. Uh, my pleasure. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. So right now, Alex is a little bit drunk. My dad was in the service. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Wow, tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Not a bad company. All right. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat.
Uh, who are you sitting with? So, are you um here with somebody, or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently, he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Hmm. Interesting. Um, what are you working on? Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Yeah, remember back in, uh, remind me. I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role-playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. After all, she <laughs> used to play with Chloe. With Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? I'll give it a try. Sure, I'd try it. Remember Even back during the like Before the Storm, we put a lot of, like, action and tension to it. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions, where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. Ooh. Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Um, considering license music is turned off, I don't know if that'll help. We'll see, but if license music is off, then uh, we might want to consider. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. But license music is turned off, would that even change anything? So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Okay. Hopefully I'll be able to hear it. If not, I have to go into the settings and do it. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Oh boy. Well, it looks good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the copyright, uh, livestream option doesn't ruin this game. Let's do the Tommy Tiger and the Tommy Tigers. Okay, I'm guessing the top is, uh... <sighs> See, so has a person's name. One word. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Hmm. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word, okay. I should probably also ask these questions. Picture of an animal. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Okay. Oh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? Okay, so it's more than one word and there's no animals. Is ants considered an animal? So 
So, does the song title have a curse word in it? <laughs> a curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. <laughs> no curse words in the title, ma'am. You've got two questions left. Okay. So there's no curse words, so it's not this one. There's no animals, so it's this one. It could be this one. Could be this one. No animals in the cover. Go back. Is there four or more words? Does the song have a long title? Like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. All right, four words or less. Okay, so there's a person in the cover art. There's no, I mean, there's no, there's no animal, basically. There's no animal. It doesn't have a curse word. Is that an, is that a person? It has more than four words in the, in the song title. It could be this one. And I think, like, narrowing it down, we only have a few options. Are there people on the cover? No. Yeah, no. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. It's not a one-word band name. No curse words in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. All right, so... All right, this is going to be easy. Hopefully. So let's narrow down my options here. I'm guessing that's four of a person, so I'm not gonna guess that. This one does not have four let four words in the song. That's probably people. There's a uh, Here's what I know. It's not a one-word band name. Okay. No curse words ah. in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. I don't know. This one has a curse word in it, but it's not in the song title. Kiss up or shut me? here. It's between these two right now. Let me keep looking. No. 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 And no. Okay, so it's between these two. It's between either Flusky Wags or this one. Here's why I don't think of this one. It has curse word in it. Here's what I know. It's not a one word band name. No curse words in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. Here's what I know. It's not a one word band name. 
No curse words in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. It's between these two. I'm gonna go with this one because there's no swear words on the on the title. Here's what I know. It's Is it that one? No, it's not. Sorry. Ah uh, dang it, it was the other All one. Right. Glitter drank me. It's not as bad as it looks. It was the other one. It was the green one. How was it? That was fantastic. It's actually delicious. <laughs> you should try one. <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. Man, that, that was interesting. So, unfortunately, um, unless there's another option that I missed out on. So, yeah, fortunately, it was, it was, uh, this, no, not this one, this one. But there's a foreword on the band name, so maybe that is the... Maybe I didn't ask the right questions and it just led me to that. Like, if you ask yourself... Oh wait, yeah, there's more. It just doesn't go beyond there. Okay. Interesting. Can you get close? Thanks for driving me home, Pike. <laughs> You're the nicest cop I've ever had. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Great. Another wipeout. Pike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Oh, God. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason. Pike is my. Holy shit, is it snowing? Yep. Sure is. I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Yeah, there's sticklers about that stuff. It's a security concern. I'm Starting over from sure, scratch like this? It's not like. Fucking CIA terrifying is what it is. You're People telling me. Off mountains for a living. Oh, is that really Ryan? Look, I hear you, kid. I've been jumping. Nathan is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Oh, I can't. I can't lock onto these guys. Okay. Have some food ready. He's got better supplies. Is the food ready? Glad you could fill in today. Oh hey, someone made a course about my life. Not bad. You still want to hit the trails later this week? This one's from yesterday. Not bad. Guess these were for mining. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Indeed. Once I'm better with crowds. I've got reviews. Shit. Now Max's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Yeah, I guess. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Indeed. That and I 
think like Mac is the one Jed who a real hero. might be hungry. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. Indeed. Let's play some poll. I've been playing a lot of poll recently. How mysterious. Alright, before I can get anywhere near Mac, can I play these other two games? Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. I guess. Ethan seems pretty proud of its mining history. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? Uh, sure. What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Can you, can you reply nicely? Where are you going with this? McRiley's headed over here. She's pretty heated at it. I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> uh, you want me to lie? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me! Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Avoid forever trouble, why not? So let's think about this really quickly. Do I want to ruin Max's life forever? Or should I just stay out of it? after all, well actually, Alex honestly needed to control her emotions, because after all, like she could, after all, it was my fault that I pushed the W key, and just caused a lot of problems, so honestly, this guy needs a break. I need to get back to work. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh... We'll get out of your way. I can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just... get so worked up thinking of you with him. After all, like... Alex Chen? Uh... So... You were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? 
I'm Jason Pike. Deputy Sheriff, I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Am I under arrest? Are you saying I'm under arrest? Your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, cops like being cops. <laughs> cops being cops. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um. Maybe I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> All right, thanks, Officer Pike. Can I play? I can. Can I play this game? No, I cannot. All right, let's play this game. Assuming it's a different game, right? Okay, um, okay, so you use the mouse to go left and right, or the A and D buttons. I'll probably use A and D. You press space, or use the mouse to fire. I'm gonna use the mouse. Destroy all bricks, collect power- Wait a minute. I remember this game. A few days ago, while I was editing, uh, my, uh, level, someone jumped in and requested, uh, Someone jumped in and requested that, yo, I'm gonna make a block breaker game or something like that. I remember those, I remember those textures. I've seen this. Yeah, we're playing this game. So yeah, uh, we're playing, uh, the game that, um... I was teased a few days ago, so I guess before I say it was sort of spoiled. Who knows? Whoa! Oh, a lot of blocks! Oh, and my hand just moves. Okay. Okay, just don't move the mouse. I'll just use that. I was under attack. But basically this is block breaker. And I really hate these split decision makings you gotta do. If only the block had a little bit more time, then I can, uh... I can focus on, uh, everything else. An energy extender, not bad. Oh, I can leave? This game's pretty nice. And I'll probably play until I lose all my lives. I'm guessing I can't hit the yellow blocks, or the gray blocks. Or maybe there's just certain rules put in place, who knows. Oh, okay, those are my live systems, okay. I'm just gonna bet that this game's gonna get a little harder. And now I got a hold type of block that I can like, like a sticky block. Whoa, Mouse, what are you doing? Oh, 
This does take a while. And like, did this, does this game actually exist in the arcades? Or at least on a gaming console? Oh, I can destroy that. I'm guessing I destroy every enemy. Get up there, man. Aw, that didn't go very far. Whoa, Mouse, what are you doing? <sighs> Off of one pixel. So we're supposed to destroy every single block. Oh, I got laser beams. I can destroy some blocks now. <sighs> this makes things a whole lot easier. <laughs> Whoa. And I lost my shooting power up. Probably gonna lose here because uh, I'm not getting any progress in on destroying other blocks. I could just stay here and do this. Unless eventually the block finds its way out of the mold. This is my last life, by the way. I won't play forever, man. Oh, I got a life. Not bad. Now I got more laser beams. God, dang, he's always hitting a ceiling. Okay, one more, I believe. I really hate choices like that. Come on, just one more. Just hit that one block. I feel like it's the only block I need to hit.
Oh, I'm, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Yeah, I am dead. Alright, well, I had fun. Alright, well, that was fun. I wish I could play that turbo kart racing game, but, uh, it is what it is. So I think my order is ready, I believe. I can give him food, I believe. Sensing an aura, but it ain't doing anything. And the Oscar goes too. Damn, was that drank out of wine? Did I come on too strong? It was bold. I'll Thanks. give you that. Don't mention it. Miss Chen. My dad was in the service. Is the food ready? Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Uh yeah. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. <laughs> you can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Okay. Trying to... This is a new post, right? Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. Not bad. Time to talk to Gabe. Hey. How's your jaw? How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. Hmm. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Hmm. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. Yeah, 
crazy person? That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. Mm. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. But have I? Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Hmm. Some days that. I didn't think I'd make it out. Try not to think about it. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. Please. Let's stop talking about the fight. Let's just talk positive. Yes, it's my fault that I punched Mac, but let's I can get tell past it. Going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. Please tell him about your aura power, please. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Tell him about your power. Tell him about my past. Tell him about my past. Tell him about your power. You know what? I honestly need to know about that power. As for her past, I'll just do it on a different playthrough. Or watch someone else do it. But I want to know about what her power is. Yes, that's my final answer. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened for a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, I just feel it. No, no one told me that. I just feel it. Sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? Uh, it doesn't work like that. I, it doesn't I regret work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. Is 
so you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Mm. Yeah. yeah. You're like going inside their heart. Yes. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Something Max told, uh... More like a super, super curse. Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. I, I, Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. Hmm. You can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. Hmm. Special? Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Not bad. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. <laughs> surprise? <laughs> Sorry. Well, what do you think? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. He was, but... I haven't seen him in a while. Hmm. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan... He told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move now. Okay, let's go. I wonder if the story went a completely different direction if I actually told him earlier. He's still a kid after all. Like, I know he was telling me when he grows up, yeah, but he didn't tell me he's going there now. Or maybe he did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Who knows? But, uh, we gotta hurry up to the mine, I guess. And it's really late at night, too. I guess we're getting Pike in, in this as well. I assume that's Pike driving. He's... It's not Pike? Ethan! Huh. Come on, pick up, pick up. Probably went through there. Alex! So now we're going into some serious shit right now. We're trespassing. This way. since I was up here. Why don't you come here? How worried should we be? You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. Mm. I was just minor in training. <laughs> sure you are. Back before, mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. 
Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on. Let's take a look around. <sighs> this kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have... said something earlier. I didn't... I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. Yeah, I didn't think he was serious. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Okay. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Landed a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Excited to announce that we have a new addition to the Black Lantern staff. Happy to have you, Alex. Maybe you could even teach Gabe a thing or two. Hey, she should uh, teach me way more than two things. She has a good sport. I'm glad you're here, Alex. Sure thing, Jason. Ducky. Al Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you you find a welcoming home here in Haven. I look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Regis McAllister referred. Alright, not bad. Thanks, Ducky. I want to feel his aura right now, although he's going really far away. Also, there's people here. Cool. A murder barn. Can I go this way? No, I cannot. Well, I guess I could follow them. Will we, though? Trespassing in some way or form. Also, I should probably use the shift button to run because, uh, pretty much helps out. Also, we're in a looking mission. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Oh, I thought I was moving. the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here imagine it was alive right now want to get wasted at the old mine ethan you're still too young for this type of stuff my joyride in this will have to wait until after we found ethan you don't realize until you're up close but mining equipment is super murdery the real monster here is underage drinking Feel their emotions. Alex, why? Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. You just gotta find him. Fast. He's right. The only thing that matters now is finding Ethan. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Imagine being trapped down there. Or... Sorry to get you off, Alex. Here. Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. <sighs> and then Typhon closed up this site. Basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Oh my god. This is a comic book Same reference. Logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Really? Interesting. Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... 
Oh yeah, and that's the zombie that he was looking at. And then uh, the blood trails goes in there. And they just pull it open. Hollow, and they just pull something. There's like a seat. That, that, that does not look like the actual gate. Secret passage. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where huh. he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. Wow, he bases to get to it through the processing building. <sighs> if we can find a way in. That's pretty That's interesting. So he's just writing his. Based his comic on this. Houston based his comic on it. Like he visited this zombie. No dice. I need to find something like that dead guy, Thanor. Yeah, this is the dead guy. If he is here, then... Then, uh, the trail of blood leads to... If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just leads... a lot more doable. Right direction. No, it is not. It's the other direction. The other direction. Over here. This gate over here. He pulled this open. Wait, so. Did Ethan. Pulled this open. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. You can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> wow. It's a secret passageway. You figured that out from a comic book. I mean, a comic book based on the person who we're looking for. And didn't you say he's gonna climb up something? I'm gonna try to get the lights on. He's gonna fall to his death if he tries it. Like page four led him to climbing up something. That when we get to the ending of the comic. He must have come through here. How did he get out? So let's see here. Alright, so this looks like... Okay, he went upstairs. What? Uh, the red one. Go with red. It's always red. Okay. Well. Nope. Nothing. Dang. 
I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. <sighs> All right. Oh, I can't run anymore. Worth the walk. Dead crow. Tragic. Well, <coughs> aren't really a thing. Let's see, he went upstairs, which is definitely this. Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Definitely climbed up. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. How did he get out of here? Not sure. I'm gonna have a look. that whatever okay let's see from this comic he went up and from there he sees like but you may still it's like from four like teeth thing did he go all the way up Wasn't in the comic. Nope. But this surely looks like it's in the comic. We passed caution like an hour ago. Bro, this does this this thing right here looks like in the comic a little bit. Looks like we're resembling teeth. Unless he went way high up. Not in the comic. Yeah, thank god uh, they didn't jump that or else that would be so dangerous. Oh, don't tell me- don't tell me he climbed up the window. He had to climb up something. But this conveyor belt is actually more resemblant okay. to it. Okay, where does Thanor go next in the comic? This is so dangerous. I would not be that guy. This is death. God. This is gonna lead to his death, I just know it. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Like the window over here. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes. Maybe heads up. You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? The silo. We're getting close. There's no way he would actually do that, and I'm guessing I'm not gonna jump this. No, I'm not gonna jump this. You'd be out of your mind if I would do that. Alright, so we're gonna have to exit that way. That's fine. This kid is out of his mind. I hope he is still alive after this. Like, I hope he doesn't fall a tragic death. Also, where is Gabe? Oh. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. 
It's like riding a bike. Hmm. Wow. Where to next, Alex? He's in that warehouse. He climbed up on this conveyor belt into that warehouse. That glow be on the peak. That must be the back gate stronghold. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. This kid is in huge trouble. At the same time, I like this adventure. We close? I think so. Ethan! 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 Oh, he senses an aura over here. Oh, there he is! Ethan! Alex! I'm scared! Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy! Wait. Hold on. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. This is not very strong. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. me. Alex, are you sure? You have to try to handle the fear emotion. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. Right, we're gonna strap Alex on and then she's gonna slowly get to okay. the kid and carry her. Uh, I'm okay. Stay positive. Yeah, I'm all right. <sighs> you sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex. Can you make eye contact with me? Do I have to use my mouse? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady is fast. Do I have to do a little... Do I have to do a little balancing act? This is gonna be like one of those minigames, and if I fall... So how is this minigame gonna work? I'm coming. Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm 
not gonna get hurt, and neither are you. Right now, this aura is a little bit too dangerous. Real close. Just a little further. Hey, Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here. I was so stupid. Okay, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. I've got really good balance. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. Sorry. I can do this. I can do this. Following gameplay is gonna require loud audio. Alright, volume warning guys. And bright lights. Close your eyes and just take my lead.
look up. Step at a time. Alex? Yeah, buddy? I'm still really scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Slowly moving. Oh crap. <laughs> don't look down, don't look down. Look up. Don't look down. Just a little bit more. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. Oof. Conquered it. Conquered your fear. Thank God that's over. Oh no. Alright, loud warning guys. Oh no. Gabe. Oh no. No, not Gabe. Oh no. No. Oh god, I hate to see all that blood. I thought I could, uh, I thought I could hurt. That'd be achievement. Please don't show it. I swear, if they show it. Oh my god, and that's it for, uh, that's it for chapter one. Wow. That was something. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do the next chapter yet. We'll do it next stream. So, that being said, folks, that is Life is Strange, True Colors. The first episode, of course. There'll be another stream pretty soon where I'll move on to the next, uh, chapter. I don't think I can buy this yet. No, I cannot. Once in the shop, I'll eventually buy it. But I don't know when I'll play it. I don't think there's anything in the extra. Oh, there's the arcade. We have unlocked two games. So you can play these games anytime you want. Your choices. So it pretty much uh, tells you what you've done so far. Oh, friend stats. Oh, none of my friends have this game? Interesting. Anything else? I 
I think we're good here. Alright, well, anyways, folks, that is it for this first chapter. If you guys want to watch me play chapter two, you know what to do. Make sure to slap the like button, hit the subscribe button with bell notifications turned on, smash that, um, and also don't forget to follow me on my Twitch channel, because I'll, I'll be doing the next stream of this. And as always, if you guys enjoyed what we've done so far in this stream, make sure to hit that follow button, you'll be notified every day we stream. Make sure to subscribe with, uh, with, uh, in the September, after all. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, folks, this is Mario's 4-1. I'm signing out. Have a fantastic night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!